like this is the worst worst ever eczema episode in my adulting in my adult life i've always had eczema but it's always been like crashes on my neck or my chest sometimes even you would see it if i film but it's never painful but i think i just think this is an allergic reaction i don't know actually it's so painful let's see all this black spot you're seeing that place is burning it's burning it's burning it's just whew. and i don't want to cry because when you cry it's so painful because under the eye it's it's also there so you see uh, under the eye so, so if i cry it's painful if i blink because it's up here if i blink it's painful i normally use deep rosalic ointment mixed with something like since since we like since i was we were kids this is what we've always used for our eczema me and my siblings so whenever i get like a mild eczema episode i just apply and then it, it goes back to normal but i have never had like a burning sensation on my face and this weather doesn't make it easy the only new thing i know i have used is revlon foundation um i was just trying out a new foundation if you followed if you got my get ready with me if you follow that video i said i'll try a new foundation so i tried revlon and then that was on friday today's today's tuesday so after i applied it on wednesday because i had like an interview but then I went, uh, nothing, there was no reaction. Then on, on Friday, I had like a mild episode, the way they usually come, like to rush. So I applied mildly because I was filming something. And then Saturday, I was just okay. Sunday, I was just ish ish. There was just a bit under my eye. So I applied medicine. Whoa, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, my face was burning. Like this wasn't there yesterday. Yesterday was Monday. Today it's there. This got I could feel it develop on Monday. And my my lips I woke up so dry. And <laughs> whew, it's just hard. Let me just say it's so it's so painful. Like just burning. It's like your face is on fire but you can't see the flames you can just feel them this is just a video that i'm going to be making on my road to recovery hoping that i recover in the next few days because this is just so painful mm, i'm going to hospital right now so that i can see whether they have something better because everything is painful guys everything i use that all on my face I tried to make soap which my sister had used for her eczema and I was burning, I was on fire. So today what I've applied, I've not even applied the medication, I've applied mixer, the sensitive, uh, the one for restoring because I know mixer, mixer is good for eczema prone skin. So I've applied mixer and then I want to go to hospital and see if they'll give me something better, if not. I don't know what to do but hopefully by the time i post this video we'll have a solution hi guys it's the it's day three um yesterday i went to the hospital and i was prescribed for an antihistamine and um and physiogel now unfortunately physiogel has been out of stock I don't know where to find it i'm still searching i've even checked my dower it's not there but i'm going to still search today the improvement is that my skin is not burning as much as yesterday what it feels is so dry <laughs> so rough still but it's not burning and that's a relief that's a huge relief and then my 
skin is really peeling it's really peeling especially here the sensation is coming back because you see it's like it was like uh sorry it was like uh it was like dead skin i don't know it was very rough it's still very rough like you can see the places that are really dark are still peeling my under eye looks like this yeah and this side like that and here the difference is that it's not painful anymore this part here is really peeling this is the part that's really peeling today so i've also changed my diet i'm taking a lot of vegetables and fruits and water like i've really improved on my water intake what has really soothed is mixer i'm using this mixer um mixer for very dry skin i'm using it as i wait for as i look for physio gel and as i'm also mixing it with um, arimis hey come on so i'm mixing it with a little bit of arimis because i need to really hydrate every single time it just feels so rough i'm unable to go to work because i handle kids and i don't know i don't know they're going to look at me like eh, okay what's happening so i'm just giving myself time to get a bit better because of my eyes especially mm. what's also been recommended is a steroid but by my friend who's a medic but uh, as of yesterday they were really <laughs> that's the best way i can say it. they were burning burning okay my skin is so tight even talking is just ah, so tight anyway so i'm um, just applying the mixer anytime i feel um, my skin is dry i keep applying and hydrating and the arenas but i'm trying to look for long-term solutions so far i've realized the reason for my flare up is the cleanser and i um it's the saint Ives facial cleanser because it's the thing i used like to remove my makeup on friday and I even used it on my lips because i didn't use foundation on my lips but the first place that it reacted was my lips and i was just being extra because the lipstick i had on had refused so i was like ah get out get out so i used the mini the facial cleanser around my eyes like i went really deep into cleansing and so in my con in my opinion and to conclude i think that's the cause of my flare up i i realized i didn't give so much information eczema is very genetic it's a genetic skin condition and it's not contagious and i've had it since i was a baby but it i used to have it on my neck and this chest area somehow it's usually still there but it's just like mild rashes and uh, it has it flares up it has its trigger so it can flare up but mine is usually in form of rashes it usually flares up and it can be triggered so you have eczema but it's sometimes it's just triggered for example i can't wear wool and there are people who can't wear wool it's because you my neck hey my neck will get rashes so if i wear I actually can't and if i do it's like for five one hour and you'll just feel it coming i also can't wear like fake gold or whatever for long like metallic chains just start irritating me for some reason and that's why most of the time i actually don't have <laughs> chains because of my neck and then you can also be triggered by your diet because excess protein also is not so good uh, for example if you take eggs too much then it can trigger and can be triggered by perfume my sister got like a really huge reaction because she's the spray here like this whole place was burnt so it can be triggered by perfume it can be triggered by skincare products or makeup it just can be triggered by a lot of things so you kind of have to be careful on what's triggering your eczema so that you can avoid yesterday i mentioned that the new things i had used were revlon and the the facial cleanser um why i don't think it's revlon is because i've used it once before for a shoot and it didn't it didn't react and then i didn't apply revlon all the way here so it's highly unlikely though when i get healed i think i will do a test again like half maybe the half here 
to see what's going to happen but so far the cleanser i also shared on my instagram and some of you uh, noted that the cleanser reacted adversely on your skin so i am 99% sure it's the facial cleanser that i am reacting to but i really hope the flare up comes on this side Hey, I hope this flare up will be over soon. This this is day three. Like you can't imagine even my skin on Sunday. If I show you a picture on Sunday, it was glowing. So some of these reactions don't happen immediately. Ideally, I should be on steroids. And for some reason, the doctor I saw yesterday didn't give me because the one, the medicine I was using, Deprosalic everything was just burning so i was like if it's going to burn my face don't give me so that's why he recommended physiogel but it seems to be out of stock in most places but i'm going to continue searching so this is day three and i'm going it's windy and i'm going to now take lunch which is lots of vegetables um, i'm going to update you guys on any other thing that i use i'm tempted i'm really tempted to use my sister's medication the one that she was prescribed for because it's a steroid and her skin was similar just worse than i mine is so i'm really tempted to use it because i'm just really tempted because i want i want out like you just want you want this to be over so that your life can move on uh, today is thursday valentine's day and it's a lot i don't know i'm, I'm so emotional today I, for some reason mm -hmm. Whew, for some reason i'm so emotional i don't know it's it's probably this it's gotten to me because Today it's so hard because my, my skin is peeling, like it's peeling on another level. I know it's healing, but it's just so, whew, it's just so hard when you, when you look into the mirror and you just don't know who you're seeing. Why am I crying? <laughs> I just woke up feeling so off because I just don't know who the person I'm seeing is and it's so tough it's so tough emotionally but anyway I'll pull through and I think it's especially tough because I need to go to work like I need I don't it's not a want I've, I've been indoors like for three days and I need to go to work. I need to. I, I teach kids music, and there are two kids I need to see because we're preparing for international music exams, and time is not on my side. And I just need to get them ready. But again, I'm wondering how do I go? How do, how do you even answer some questions? You know, it's so hard. Like. Hey, I have some respect for people who constantly deal with skin issues and still have to go about their daily daily lives like it's it's not easy and I think people should be I think people should be really sensitive out there before you start throwing in Suji advice just understand what people are going through I think it's even made me a sensitive person anyway <sighs> feeling better as I talk I'm still in a dilemma on whether to go to work or to stay indoors and heal because even the sun when the sun comes out it's going to be it's going to be really hard for me because it's 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 really drying so I I just avoid so anyway yesterday I got on a steroid uh, this one uh, it's called Humovate ointment because uh, I was advised to get, get on a steroid because this is a, an, a reaction to something and it's a very severe reaction. So I got onto it um, and I puckered and whenever I, because I'm supposed to apply like twice, um, I apply a remis whenever I feel like it's too dry because I can't keep applying the medicine. And 
Physiogel is kind of out of stock in most chemists in the country. Like, A, I, I think I have checked, 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 checked. But it's okay. I feel like I'm, I'm going to be better. Like, it's just that when. So desperate, like, I just want it to be over. I'm particularly peeling. Yesterday, my lips peeled all through. Like, all through. I tell you, like... I was just chipping, chipping, chipping and removing and and then it's so addictive to want to remove for yourself because it's annoying. It's just annoying that you have skin hanging. So you see, uh, let me move closer and show you. Mm -hmm. This area here is still peeling. So you can see it's peeled here. It's peeled somewhere here. And... Mm, around the eyes it's not yet started peeling though i can feel it coming because especially here it's exceptionally dry but the most uncomfortable is just how this part here look and then it's so tempting i just want to help my skin heal so i just want to peel but i'm not supposed to and yesterday my sister kept holding my hand so that i can stop peeling but i whew, it's tough it's tough emotionally especially today it's not painful but it's just tough it's really tough to look in the mirror and not know who you're looking at and it's really tough when the eczema or whatever you're battling outwards gets under your skin that like gets to you it's it's not interesting but i'm going to i'm going to overcome <laughs> okay well it's three o'clock and i have decided i'm going to work fuck this eczema i'm going to work it's not as bad as i think it has peeled up here it has peeled and up there it's a bit painful this part is going to peel more it has started but yeah so i've just decided i'm going to work and uh, i'm just going to have a good day so i'll see you guys tomorrow it was tough it's valentine's and yeah, people are just, you know, there's there so many good photos out there, people look good. Yeah, it's just good vibes and I was just feeling, today was the lowest and I think um, I've kept myself busy with work, housework. I think I like cleaning when I'm, when I'm not happy because I have just cleaned, cleaned the dogs, just cleaned, even curtains. So I'm just going to keep myself busy and I'm going to go to work because this thing will not let me down. I'll see you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Guys, today is um today is a uh, when is today? Today is Thursday. It's a week from Valentine's and look, look at that. Look at this girl, she's glowing. Okay, not glowing, but she's healed. Like, I'm really... I'm just happy. I'm happy, by the way. Woo! Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video to this point. Because we are now at the healed stage. Let's say healed. Because I last time I was peeling and I said peeling is healing. And I meant it. And right now i'm just so happy with my skin i will confess okay let me take you through what has happened for the last one week thursday i was really in a bad emotional mental uh, physical state i was not even feeling so well I was, I was not even feeling myself like i was like i think i was even getting depressed and sitting at home makes it worse let me tell you the best thing i did for myself on thursday was to go to to work because it got me out there and surprisingly enough is that people even the people i was working with they they yes they knew i was sick but they didn't even make it a big deal they were very accommodative and we just talked about things rather than focusing on the sickness yes there are a few tips here and there but passed on in a very sensitive and caring manner and i was just able to do my work and I was happy that I got out of my state. Let me tell you how bad I was feeling. I really want to be taken on a date. And my and Dan kept saying, let's just let's let's go for dinner. And I was like, no, let's cook inside. And enjoy Valentine's from inside. But he insisted. And I went. And Yanni, it was just so nice. 
it was so nice it ended up being a, such a good positive day and what happened is that my eye was the one peeling the most down here and up here and down here like it was peeling and it was so painful and then i think the steroids helped to heal faster because the skin now was drying a little bit more faster so the peeling was just happening yeah so after that in fact i helped my skin to peel because i was like get out i was peeling and then around the eye is very sensitive so the more i was peeling the more the skin underneath was very sensitive so it was a bit tingly i don't want to say painful because i could it was pain from afar but just so uncomfortable oh yeah it was bad so then friday i just continued peeling and friday friday i even went to work yes i went to work and i continued peeling but it, it was now getting to the end i think on friday and saturday was mostly my t-zone so my nose here peeling was happening and the most weird part that was peeling on saturday has to be the skin underneath my eyebrows i had forgotten that this thing affected everywhere on my face so i was feeling rough here and i was wondering what's happening kumba is the skin underneath here that was now peeling on saturday by Sunday, I was a bit well. I stopped using the steroid on uh, on Saturday, and Saturday because now I was getting better. So I just um, I now was using shea butter, using the South Africa Naturals uh, shea butter. Nuts from the karate tree. It's from South Africa Naturals on Instagram that my sister has, and it's pretty. It was very soothing on my skin, so I stopped medication and now I focused on the shea butter, and I was still washing my face with plain water. Then um, I must say that this whole thing has got got me into a skincare um research thing, and I watched so many skincare videos like. I even watched the 10 step Korean skin routine by Patricia and by other women. I was just obsessed with clear skin and getting onto a skin routine right after I've healed. So I must say that this week I have attempted to get myself some skin products that I would that are eczema sensitive, are for sensitive skin that would help me in my journey in my skin routine everyday life before i share that i would really like to take time to see what's working for me and what's not working but i'm just starting small and seeing what product is working for me and what product is not working for me before this whole experience i was not really careful with my skin and in fact that's how i got myself to use something that i don't use like you tell me oh to try this um facial cleanser i'll just try and that's what happened when I wanted to remove my makeup and I was at my friend's and he, she suggested you can help, you can remove the makeup with the St. Ives um, makeup and facial cleanser thing and I just did it and I didn't think even twice. And I remember going into the lips because I was using Joanna K, the Lippy Fearless and it takes a, it's, it takes a while to to come off like so i was getting frustrated because i didn't have oil to remove it so i even used the cleanser there and that was the first part that got very tingly and very uncomfortable that's the first part that really reacted and even peeling yeah so from this whole experience i just say that i have learned a lot not only physically that yeah we need to take care of our skin there but even mentally how to deal with someone who's just a how to deal with someone who's even going through skin issues like it's not good to always just point it out hey what's up with your face no guys be sensitive like before you ask them they already know something is happening to their face so even in how you asked there's someone who asked me and i was like okay i yeah that's do I have to explain to you? Really? Really? Yeah, just be sensitive in how you deal with people who have skin issues, how you ask them what's happening. If you are asking from a point of concern, like genuine concern, then be a bit more sensitive in how you ask. Don't make it a big deal like now the whole day we are going to talk about my skin. No, just let life go about normally because I thought I was overreacting when the 
I was emotionally worn down and my friend told me no that's what she was dealing with there's a time she missed classes in KSL because of her skin and I was like why your skin is not as bad and at that time she says you can say that but what I'm feeling is it's bad and that can make me not come to class. I didn't understand at that time, but I totally get it now. So guys, be sensitive before you just are on someone's face there and just throwing it to them that, hey, kwani yo sura yako ni nini? Umejaribu nini? Umejaribu nini? Ah ah, please be sensitive. Be sensitive. And um, I'm, I've also learned that mentally, like the peeling was healing. As I keep saying, that it's peeling, so it's healing, yeah? It's just a process and you kind of have to be patient and even in life I think you just have to be patient because peeling is definitely healing you will peel off friends you'll peel off bad diet things it's healing it takes time it's a process it's a process of just getting to the new and better version of you you get that's my take home like the biggest lesson that it's just a process and peeling is healing so thank you for watching all the way to this um, point at the video and please subscribe if you haven't. I will update you on my skincare routine and what I'd say is I also hope that this video has enabled you to know what eczema is. It's not a life sentence. It's not going to... It's not... Um, it's not contagious. It's not contagious. So just relate with us normal. If you have a kid going through this, they get better in adulting i believe look at me yeah with a few episodes here and there but we get better it's, it's especially tough on kids because i've seen how my niece was and how my small sister was and even my brother currently but you get things to manage them and what works for someone else might not work for you and that's that's a, a key point for eczema someone might use physio gel someone might use epimax someone might use Depro prosalic someone might use um, the green one elocom different bodies different meds that work for them depending on the intensity and also your diet and everything so I really hope you've learned a thing or two my take home for you is peeling is healing mentally emotionally physically just embrace the process you're becoming a better version of you thank you so much for watching bye bye